washing machine faucet can be challenging. Now this model I bought online, I found that it doesn't suit into my house. It has a minor leakage, even if it's cheap. So I went to the shop, they demonstrated it for me. Now this is the one that I bought online. It actually go into it for two or three tread only. That's why you call it leakage. But the one that is actually selling is that it fits quite well, at least four, five or six tread into the unit. So you look carefully, the pitch size is different. So this is the reason why you shouldn't buy faucet online. Go to the shop, visit the shop, and they are going to do it for you and they're going to sell you the one that is compatible with your house. Okay? Now changing the faucet, washing machine faucet is easy. Get a wrench, turn it counterclockwise, right hand grip rule, and there you go, done. Then remove all the tape, remaining tape. Make sure you have a bucket down there to catch all the dead volume of water or else your house or floor will be flooded. Okay? Then uh, remove all the tape, okay? And this is a new one. Okay, I bought uh, over the shop. And why I choose washing machine faucet of this type? Because I want to save this one and a half inch space. This one and a half inch uh, length is important. So that's why I'm gonna change it. And also this washing machine faucet comes with an auto stopper. It's a stopper, okay? If you have the tape for stainless steel and use it. I do not have it. I just use a stainless, I mean a standard type, normal one. Uh, eight rounds, eight to nine rounds. I think it's good enough already. And this is a stopper that I meant. It's a brass stopper. Now, why do I need it? Because I do not normally turn off the faucet. Okay, so it's good that to have auto stopper so that the, the holes do not always holding the high pressure. Okay, easily can go in five or six trap into this faucet, automation faucet. Now don't stop yet, I'm going to show you more things. If you actually uh, turn on the main, I think turn 200 degrees, 250 degrees, and then there's uh, two inches from the wall, I need it to be as close as possible, and let's check for a day, there's no leakage. This is a position for turn on, and you see water is not running, water will not flow unless you push this brass stopper. So that's the beauty of this. So that I can be certain that washing machine holes do not actually withstand high pressure all the time. At least, it will not cause the tubing to be always in high pressure. Okay, It extends the living, the life of my washing machine tubing. But that's not all. Okay, How do you change the tap fitting? Now that's when you switch off the main or switch off the faucet, there's no water flowing. Just remove the cap. Use a test pen, just push it out. And then this is a copper or brass, you call okay, it. Brass, co brass is a combination of copper and zinc, okay? Use a wrench, 14mm wrench. And then right hand grip rule again. This, this is the type, okay? The short type, okay? This type of uh, brass tap fitting. Now with ceramic this of course. There are two types, the brass type or the stainless steel type. Here. Okay. Now the reason why we buy from the shop, if anything goes wrong, go back to the same person, they will change one for you. If you buy online, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay? So they will actually test it for you, make sure there's no leakage, only then they will sell it to you. A uh, special shout out to my friend Dak from XKY Hardware. I'm, uh, this is not an advertisement, I just want to thank them for testing out for me, explain it to me why so that I can share it with you. Okay? I have uh, no obligation to make a video. Right? So this is just sharing. And uh, that's not all. Let me show you the types of tap fitting. The one on the left hand side, you can from Italy. Wow. And then if you are buying any brass oh, material okay. tap fitting, make sure you get from a reputable brand. Because you will be certain that there's no lead coating right then the middle one is actually stainless steel the one on the right hand side is uh, some brass fitting tap fitting and i have no idea where is it from okay so if you were buying get the one from reputable brand uh, the brass one but for stainless steel if the water is hard meaning you have minerals get the one with made with uh, stainless steel because uh, residue will not be collected there 
and stainless steel is antibacterial so they have so much benefit using the stainless steel compared to the brass so i hope my video helps you appreciate a thumbs up until then see you in my next video oh remember to subscribe to my channel bye bye